it's really hard. It was so hard to switch gears. You know, I've been so used to writing relatively short pieces, um, 1,200 words, 800 words, whatever, maybe some magazine pieces. But suddenly you're writing a book and you're, you're expanding and you're, you don't have to just keep cutting out material. You can put more material in. You can write in a different way. And I feel that, you know, all the old, my old abilities as a creative writer in school, et cetera, before I was a newspaper reporter, had kind of atrophied. You know, the, the muscles that I had had just dwindled. And I had to really, really, really work to get those going again. Um, also, you know, having all that time when you're a reporter, and you probably know this too, you work to deadline. You know, it's like, do it now. You have two hours, and two hours is like a long time. But suddenly you have two years, and it's really hard to discipline yourself to actually do it. Um, also, I was shocked at how bad I felt doing the book. You know, I felt like it took so many drafts to make it sound like it hadn't taken any drafts at all. You know, I, I think it was John Kenneth Galbraith once said something like, it takes me eight drafts to achieve that casual, effortless um, tone that my editors love so much. And that's how I felt. I mean, I had to write it over and over again to get it sound exactly the way I wanted to. And I found being stuck alone with just me and my thoughts, which when you're a newspaper reporter, you're not, because you're always looking at the web, and you're always doing interviews, and you're always talking to your editor. And that's, you know, you have to have a very short attention span in a way. For a book, you have to have a long attention span. This is a book of essays, and they're supposed to be funny, and they're, you know, it's impressionistic um, uh, it's topics that I've picked. So if I do another book and, you know, picked one topic that, you know, um, it would be a whole different world for me. I'd love to try it. I'm, I'm, you know, incredibly relieved I was able to do this one at all. Because for a while I thought, I, I don't know how people do this. How they're lost, left with themselves, and live through it, book after book after book. It's just beyond me. <laughs>